quad on a nice day. Like as soon as the weather gets nice, the quad is packed with people, like just laying down, doing homework, playing frisbee. Again. It's like, and then even there, so you'll see some of the craziest things on the quad, like people running in banana suits. The best is a few best kept secrets at U of I. About every week you can find something happening at either the Union or on campus that students can go to and not just get the free food and the free t-shirts or whatever. They have everything there. From When you go to the Union, you can find a hotel, you can find a bowling alley, you can find restaurants, you can find ice cream, you can find a bank, you can find a convenience store, what more else? The campus direct has so much to offer and they have room ball and they offer flag football and it's just a lot of fun. You can play basketball. Basketball is huge, but room ball is a blast. The undergraduate library, everyone, as much as it's a library, it's just the place to go. Like when you're studying, you go there, all your friends are there, and you you can talk to anyone when you need a study break. Food wise, <laughs> would probably be Zaz. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's just a lot of. It's a really nice place. You can make your own food, whatever you want. So it's a lot of fun to go there. So. There are so many alumni contacts that you can, you can have. Um, they actually have a database where you can email alumni. I know one girl who always wanted to work for Disney, or yeah, for Disney, and she ended up getting a job from, because she emailed one of the people from Illinois who graduated there who worked there, uh, emailed her, and she got set up with an internship and now works full time for I Actually, I, I don't know if you've ever been in front of Fullinger. Did you know about the base that's there? And when you stand on it, uh, when you say, when you say something, it echoes, and I had no idea until the beginning of sophomore year. Bevier Cafe. Uh, it is run by the hospitality program, I think, here. And it's been around here for a very long time, at least as long as my mom has been here, because she actually told me about it. Uh, something called Japan House, uh, located right by the Arboretum, south, a little bit south of campus, south of PARFAR. And it's really neat. It's a it's a Japanese tea house, and they have some uh, Japanese culture classes that they offer there. And sometimes you can go to tea ceremonies twice a month. But I think another one of Illinois' best kept secrets is the the Craner Center for the Performing Arts. I love the blaze at Craner Center. Craner Center is this huge, I want to say, multi-purpose building. It have a variety of different studios and theaters, and even just the building itself running up the amphitheater steps at night. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. Walking around up there on the roof and just, it's a great place. If I were going to school in Chicago, it would cost me a lot more to see some of these uh, great performances from around the world. Being a student in fine and applied arts, I, can, I went to see the Chicago Symphony Orchestra when they were here last semester and it cost me $10 a ticket. I think the best kept secret is a secret, so everyone better come to Illinois so they can find out. <laughs>